二零二二年第十一、第十二條題目咧，就係有關於下面呢兩幅圖嘅。佢就問翻啦，有兩個裝置啦，就係、是、幫我哋探究一下發緊牙嘅種子嘅氣體交換嘅。咁你見到啦 ，set up P 同埋 set up Q 啦 ，set up Q 咧就係一個對照實驗嚟嘅。兩個裝置最大嘅分別咧，就係 set up P 咧，佢一啲二氧化碳嘅吸收劑啦，而 set up Q 咧入面咧就只係水嚟嘅啫。大家咧都係有呢個發緊芽嘅種子啦，都係連住一把間尺，而當中咧係會顯示到呢個有色嘅液體咧嘅喐動嘅。而第十一條啦就問啦，假設環境嘅條件係不變。咁究竟啦，喺每個裝置當中，佢呢個有顏色嘅液體會有啲咩嘅變化呢？當然講緊嘅就係一個位置上面嘅變化啦。佢可以係向左喐、向右喐，或者係保持不變嘅。咁題目咧就考兩樣嘢嘅。第一樣咧就係、是、一啲。技術層面嘅嘢啦，就係、是、我哋點樣去判斷翻啦，喺裝置 P 同埋 Q 當中嘅氣體壓力嘅變化咧。然後啦，就基於咧喺呢個裝置 P 同埋 Q 嘅壓力同埋大氣壓力當中嘅一個差異啦，就去推論翻咧呢個有色液體嘅喐動嘅。以第二類型要 check 嘅咧，就係一啲概念性嘅嘢啦。發緊芽嘅種子係會進行呼吸作用。而呼吸作用咧，係會用咗氧氣同埋產生二氧化碳嘅。而題目咧，亦都有講到嘅環境條件不變啊嘛，例如啦，大氣嘅壓力啦，同埋温度啦，我哋都係假設咧，佢係不變嘅。咁而家啦，我哋就睇下成條題目咧，應該點樣諗咯？第一個要思考嘅咧，就係呢啲液體嘅功能啦。咁其實題目都好好噶啦，佢直接講俾你聽嘅咧，就係 carbon dioxide 嘅 absorption 啊。但係可能下次咧，佢就同你講啦，啊唔係啊。啊！入面咧栽嗰樣嘅誒化學物咧，就係、是、呢個 sodium hydroxide 氫氧化鈉，或者啦 potassium hydroxide 氫氧化鈉。咁其實啦，佢哋咧都係去吸收二氧化碳嘅。咁所以大家咧又要留意咯。下次咧可能俾個名你嘅，就唔會直接話俾你聽咁好人嘅。第二啦，咁喺呢個大嘅試管入面咧，究竟嗰個氣壓啦會啲咩嘅變化咧？一係高咗，一係低咗，一不變啦，係咪？咁跟住啦，再比較嘅就係喺整個裝置喺呢個 boiling tube 同埋啦喺我哋嘅大氣壓力當中，究竟啦會有啲咩嘅差異咧？邊一邊嘅壓力係高一啲咧？從而啦就係判斷翻咧呢個有色液體基於呢個壓力不同啦，從而得出嘅一個移動嘅。好，咁我哋啦就先去睇一睇咧第一個裝置先。咁啊 ，set up P 啦，我哋有呢個發緊芽嘅種子啦，佢哋會進行呢、這個。呼吸作用，咁佢哋咧就會用咗啲氧氣佢嘅，咁所以啦，喺呢個 boiling tube 入面咧，嗰、那個氧氣嘅濃度咧應該會下降嘅。而同一時間啦，二氧化碳啊 ，carbon dioxide CO2 咧，佢嗰個分量咧，照道理係上升嘅。不過，由於喺呢個 boiling tube 入面咧，有呢個二氧化碳嘅吸收劑，咁所以啦，二氧化碳雖然係被排放咗出嚟啊。但係啦，就會俾佢吸收咗，咁所以啦，二氧化碳咧喺呢個 boiling tube 嘅濃度咧，其實應該係下降嘅。而既然啦，兩款氣體嘅分量咧都係下降咗嘅話咧，咁所以自不然咧喺呢個 boiling tube 入面嘅氣壓咧個 gas pressure 咧都應該係下降啦。咁由於啦喺個 boiling tube 入面嘅氣壓就下降啦，咁喺相對上啦喺個大氣入面嘅壓力。其實係冇變噶嘛，嗱題目講噶嘛，唔係我講噶嘛，係咪？咁所以啦，既然出面咧係相對上不變，咁我哋要寫翻先啦嚇 ，relative 嘅 constant 相對上咧係不變嘅，咁所以啦就會導致到咧出面相對上就係一個高嘅壓力，而相對上喺呢個 boiling tube 入面咧，相對上就係一個低嘅壓力啦，所以呢個有色液體咧應該係會向左咧去喐動嘅，然後啦我哋就睇下 set up Q 咯喎。C F Q 咧都係有呢個發緊芽嘅種子啦，但係入面啊就只係水嚟嘅啫。佢哋啦仍然都係會進行呢個呼吸作用啦，氧氣啦照樣咧都係會少咗啦，二氧化碳啦照樣都係會多咗啦。咁即係話啦，一跌就一升喎。咁即係對於咧喺呢支 tube 入面嘅 gas content 咧，其實係冇乜點變嘅，因為少咗氧氣啫，但係多翻二氧化碳啊嘛，係咪？咁所以啦，喺呢個 boiling tube 入面嘅氣壓咧，其實都應該係冇乜點變嘅，又係比較下喺個大氣當中嘅壓力咯喎。咁啊，題目都有講到噶嘛，佢冇乜點變噶嘛，係咪？咁即係都係 relatively constant 啦。咁即係話啦，出面又冇乜點變。
入面又冇乜點變，所以呢個有色液體嘅位置咧就會保持不變啦。咁我哋睇翻個答案咯喎。set up P 咧就係向左行嘅，咁其實答案咧都已經出現咗啦，因為得佢咧，咁啊因為咧得 option B 咧係講個有色液體向左啫，而 set up Q 咧佢個位置亦都真係保持不變噶嘛，咁所以啦答案咧就真係 B 啦。Go to question eleven and twelve refer to the diagram which shows two set up used for the investigation of the gas exchange in the germinating seed. So you can see set up P and set up Q and set up Q it is the control set up. The only difference between these two setup is that the solution in the boiling tube. Setup P it contains the carbon dioxide absorbent, and the setup Q it contains water. So this time the question is very good for you because it doesn't ask you the name or doesn't give you the name of the chemical and then ask you to guess the function of the solution. So maybe next time it may give you the name of the solution, sodium hydroxide. So this chemical it will absorb the carbon dioxide. So that's something we can learn from the textbook, and the question will not tell you. You need to recall it by yourself. And apart from the sodium hydroxide, the potassium hydroxide it can also absorb the carbon dioxide. And then the boiling tube is connected to a ruler to show the position change of the color liquid. So let's take a look at the question. Assuming that the environmental conditions are the same. So what will happen to the colored liquid in each setup? So for this question, it checks us the critical skills and the critical concept. For the skills, we need to realize the change of the air pressure in setup P and Q, and based on the pressure difference in the setup and the atmosphere, we need to deduce the movement of the colored liquid. And for the concept, germinating seed they carry out respiration. And during respiration, oxygen will be consumed and carbon dioxide will be produced. And finally, according to the question, it assumes that environmental conditions are the same. So, for example, atmospheric pressure and temperature are assumed to be constant. So, for these two setup, so what will be the thinking logic? First of all, we need to recall the function of the solution in the boiling tube. Carbon dioxide absorption surely absorb carbon dioxide, but for the water. It doesn't have such function to absorb the carbon dioxide, and the second step we need to think about what will be the change of the air pressure in the boiling tube, and any difference of the air pressure in the setup and the atmosphere, which side is higher or lower, and then we can determine the direction of the movement of the colored liquid in each setup. So let's take a look at each setup to think about the movement of the colored liquid. So for setup P, we have the germinating seed. They will undergo respiration, and during respiration, oxygen will be consumed. Therefore, the oxygen content will decrease. Meanwhile, carbon dioxide will be produced. Therefore, the carbon dioxide content will increase. However, there is carbon dioxide absorption in the boiling tube. Therefore, it will absorb the carbon dioxide, and it needs to decrease of the carbon dioxide content. So for the overall idea is that for the oxygen content decrease, carbon dioxide content decrease, it makes the gas content in the boiling tube decrease, and it will need to the gas pressure in the boiling tube also decrease because there will be less and less air in the boiling tube, and then we need to consider the atmosphere. For the atmosphere, according to the question, the environmental factor condition is unchanged. So, for example, atmospheric pressure relatively constant. So now the case is that in the boiling tube, the gas pressure decreases. In the atmospheric pressure, the pressure is relatively constant. Therefore, outside the setup, the atmospheric pressure it will be relatively higher. And in the setup, the pressure will be relative low. Therefore, the colored liquid will be pushed inwards towards the boiling tube and to the left. And then let's take a look at the setup Q. For the setup Q, the germinating seed, just like the setup P, consume oxygen, produce carbon dioxide. So you can see that 
for the gas content, although oxygen will be consumed, carbon dioxide will be produced at the same time. Therefore, for the gas content in the boiling tube should be relatively the same. And it will need to the gas pressure also relatively the same. It will need to the gas pressure also relatively the same. And then compare the atmosphere. For the atmospheric pressure, just like the setup P, the atmospheric pressure will be relatively the same. Therefore, on the right hand side of the color liquid, the air pressure is relatively constant. And on the left hand side of the color liquid, the gas pressure also relatively constant. Therefore, the position of the color liquid will remain unchanged. Let's take a look at the answer. So for the setup P, we guess that the color liquid should move towards the left hand side. Therefore, we have the answer option B because there is only one answer to say that the color liquid will move to the left. And then for setup Q, therefore, option B is the answer.